text. So I'm just going to put, uh, no, Jacko JM, which is my like Xbox name and all that. Jacko and HD is just my YouTube name. Now, you'll probably want to put a color that stands out. Like, I'm going to do uh, white or black. Black. I'm going to put black and I'm going to chain, make the font a bit bigger so you can actually see it. There we go. Place it and then move it to where you want it. Like, I'm going to just put mine here like that. And then go to blending options on your text. Sometimes put a drop shadow if you want it to make it look 3D. But because mine's text doesn't really look... I'm going to put a stroke on. I'm going to put the size down to 1. I'm going to change the colour to maybe a white. No, a green. Maybe a lighter green. Yeah, like that. Just so it stands out a little bit bolder. Uh, you can put a bevel to make it look 3D. Oh, I'm just going to chuck that in. And you can put a drop shadow on now. Maybe move the distance out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's quick looking 3D text. You can also use Cinema 4D and put that in. I have done that. I tried to. It didn't look very good, but I'll quickly show you. I've got some 3D text here somewhere. Uh, check on HD. Doo -doo. Here, green text. There you go. I made this in Cinema 4D. If you want a tutorial, request it. I'll be sure to make it, but... Otherwise, just there's always other YouTube videos. I might make one. Um, so there we go. You got your main picture, your background, your text, and if you look over here, that's what I've got now for brushes and stuff like little added extras. I guess you could call it. Um, some things I like to do is borders. They look good. You just get your line tool. About two, three pixels is a good size. Roughly that, like the same amount. I'm gonna make it a really green one. Actually, I'm make it yeah, like that. Okay, then just hold shift so it's a straight line. Doesn't have to be exact because then you just zoom in a little bit so you can see what you're doing. Grab this tool and just line it up like that. So and you can just copy and paste it and line it all up. I'm not gonna do all that now. It's just gonna that'll just take too much time. So that's one thing you can do. You can't really see it, but when you upload it, it does make a big difference. Um, another thing you can do is brushes, which I've done in this one, the white brushes. And in this one, you might have to zoom in a little bit, but there's blood there. That's, that's a brush. Um, so I've got a few brushes, once again, from editing packs. Not there. Um, I'm not even in brush, am I? Yeah, there we go. I'll just put one of these in just to quickly... Sometimes you have to rasterize just so you can do it. Um, what color have I got? I might make it a black. Why not? Make sure it's on a new layer so you can like change the opacity and stuff. And I'll just sit it like that. And then you can turn it the opacity down. Might leave it all the way up and maybe change these. Fiddle with these so it looks nice. Sometimes luminosity looks quite nice. I might just leave it at that. Yeah, so that's another thing you can do. You can pretty much forum signatures are just the your creation, like your creativity. The more creative they are, the better. And you can make like animated ones. You like they're a lot more effort sometimes to make, but I prefer just still images like this. Now the next step is to save. Okay, so after you've saved your project so you can come back and edit it later. Just go save as now, for a still image like this that's not 3D, you just go JPEG. It's simple as that. And go maximum quality unless it's like over 2 megs or something, then go otherwise. But for one like this, that's how it's 3D. Like, you know, that'll stick out and all this checkered area will be invisible. That's what the site color will be, so it looks like it's really 3D. You just save that as a PNG. Okay, so next step, once you've you know, saved it all and uploaded it. I might save this quickly. Files save as desktop forum sig yeah one why not and JPEG save. 
maximum, how big is it? Oh, it's only tiny. Save, I'll just minimize that, minimize my voice record actually. Now, I'm going to split this video, these videos into segments because it's like a pretty long, let me see, 15 minutes now. So I'll maybe split it into a little bit. But now I'm going to show you how to upload it to like a file, you know, an image file thing. Now, if with my guild, Epic, I'll show you it quickly. How you upload a f like a forum thing is you go to account settings. It'll be roughly the same for everything else. Okay, and then you go forum signature and it's in here. That's the link that I uploaded it to. I just clicked image, put the link in there and clicked insert and saved. Now I'll show you how to upload it to your um, like a like a photo hosting site. I use Image Shack. I tried um, Flickr, but when I uploaded the PNG, it just didn't work out. It t ended up converting it to a JPEG, so it didn't really work very well. But what you do, you make an account easy. You upload it. Click in here, browse. Make sure you change if it image resize. Just go do not resize, and then upload it. And then what you do, you copy the link. Sometimes it can just be the link. Sometimes it has to be the direct link. Like you, sometimes you just can't tell half the time. And then you go to back to your guild forum or whatever. You put that link in there and click save, and it'll be done. As simple as that. Now I'll quickly. I might show you what it looks like. Some of them. Uh, yeah, this one I'll do. This is my other char thing. What it looks like. Wait for it to load. Yeah, there we go. Some people use these generator ones to make theirs. Like, I don't reckon they look very good. Like my one here, I probably should change the border. Like you can see with this one, it's green. And you can see it with mine, it's got a black one. So it blends in with the background. So it doesn't look very good. Okay, next video, I'm, I'll actually probably split this one into two, or maybe even three, but probably just two videos. But I might show you how to make a profile pic for like YouTube or um, anything really. doesn't really matter. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Oh, yeah, I use SoundForge to record my audio. I think it's better. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or requests, just com leave a comment or PM me or whatever. doesn't matter. Okay, I hope you enjoy your day, and I hope to play some games with you later. Okay, bye.